Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Learning Advanced Custom Fields with me, Benjamin the Dev. This video will be a little bit different than our normal tutorials. I was asked by Stefan Erickson, a subscriber and a viewer. He has a problem with his Advanced Custom Fields and he's new to WordPress and Advanced Custom Fields. So basically he wants to create a background image using a single page using Advanced Custom Fields and he's struggling out there. He's got no step-by-step -step instructions and I'm going to show him how to do it. So let's get cracking. So I think this is what Stefan was after. This is a website that I created for a tax firm in Australia and basically this is using advanced custom fields and as you can see we've got our team there, a bit of text and we've got a background image. I've also created this website and this is a bit more fancy with the uh, scroll feature and having this awful graphic in this box here and the same again in this page it's different but you can see the flexibility in terms of templating because you can use the same template over and over so an example of this is this website that I've created for this HBG tax and accounting in Australia long way away from where I am but hey ho so this is the background image and it's been it's coming through from advanced custom fields and I've got a bit of custom text there as well when you go into the edit the page you can see that the image is there and this is all advanced custom fields so I'm guessing this is what Stefan really wants to do so we'll get to that now so I've set up a new local host and set up a new WordPress and what I'm going to do is go into plugins and make sure I've got advanced custom fields which I do okay so let's go to custom fields and let's add a new group we can call this group VG image what we can do now is we can add a field and this can be image and then what I would do down here is select image So what I'll do is I'll leave it to and select image URL. I'll make sure that it's full and we'll leave that as all and conditional logic we're not really using at all. And what we'll do is for this part is we shall save that as BG images. Now what we need to do is we need to go into the template and create a custom template and push it that way. Okay, so I'm in my directory of WordPress and we are currently using the theme of 2016 and let's go in 2017, sorry. Let's go ahead and change that to 2016 because I prefer that. This big image really winds me up and I think it's a god awful theme. So now we've changed it to that. What we need to do is we need to go into our theme directory and content themes and 2016. That's definitely what we said, right? 2016. I'm just going to bung that into Sublime Text and I'm just using the free version, which I think is pretty awesome. And then what we want to do is we want to create a custom template. So what I will do is I will just copy and paste all of this and I'll just bung it into a new file and I'm just going to call this one let's call this uh, new BG for fun and we'll just save that for now and just being quite sloppy here obviously it's not a production bit of kit but hey ho so we'll save that as bg.php and remember I'm only doing this as an example if you're going to be using a theme please 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 use a child theme because if you don't then when you go to do your update you will probably lose it all and that will not be very nice at all for you. 
So let's find an area where we can populate our code. And we've got a if is home uh, and it's not front page, and we pump out this. So maybe after that and just before the loop, what we shall do is we shall have this here. So what I will always do is just for a bit of fun, just put a h1 there and do this as test. I save that and then I'll go back to my pages and I've already created a page called test page obviously and what we shall do now is now we've got a template here got new BG and that's good so we'll update that one for now now back in the advanced custom fields in our BG image what we'll do is here in the location under rules it says show this field group if post type is equal to post well actually ours is just a page template so what we can do is change it to UBG and just because I like this I actually like the WP meta box so we'll update that and then next we will just reload this page quickly and then we can see the BG and image so actually we haven't got an image and let's have a look for an image. I don't know, sunset. Let's look for a nice sunset image. Don't ask why. So let's go for this one's very nice and it's from YouTube and Soft Jazz. Oh, very nice. So let's go to, and please don't do this again. This is just purely for a demonstration. I don't know whose image this is and I uh, I won't be using it in any production whatsoever so we'll just do that to our desktop and we'll select files and we'll go to our desktop and there we go so now as you can see this is 1280 by 720 so let's select this image and that's perfect we'll update that now we need to go back into the code so let's switch over back to our code and we need to check actually first that we're seeing the test well that's confusing isn't it okay just put any old gobbledygook in I know it's working because I can tell which test it is so and refresh and there's our gobbledygook and okay let's go back to our template file and actually we want that how did that pump out again that was pumping out before our title so I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of this loop we'll do that after the loop and we'll keep it in within the main and save that once again that should be below it now yeah and so it is so just quickly let's get some lorem in there lorem I'm actually just going to generate five because I'm feeling lazy. Probably won't even do all of that. So, okay. And let's just bung that in there. Perfect. Update once again. Reload your page. Okay, so there's our Laura Mips and there's our gobbledygook. So let's go back to our template file. And we want to get rid of that. For time's sake, what I've done is I've just actually copy and pasted the code from that HBG um, website, and I'm just going to paste it in, and we can change a few parts, and hopefully that will help you. Okay, so it's wrapped in a div class of hero area, which is fine because in the example you could see that it was a hero area, and obviously with the class of hero area, it could be used over several different pages using this one template and this one class so we actually named our uh, ACF template field we didn't name it hero image we renamed it image or IMG so what this is saying is if get field grab this and then it's wrapped in a a background a div sorry of background image and this is how 
I've got this to work in the past. So now you can actually style it up. So we can go call it art image. I know we wouldn't really call it that, but again, um, we didn't really want the caption, so we'll just get rid of the caption and we'll get rid of that if statement. Although, actually, it might be a good exercise to leave that in and show you how that works. Yes, let's do that quickly. Okay, so let's go back to here. Uh, excuse my squeaky chair. So we're going to leave this and we shall call it. In fact, let's just be uh, hero text. Let's just be lazy and just call that hero text. There we go, hero text. And you can add instructions there for your clients or for later use. I'm not going to bother because we know what we're doing. Right, and we can add some hero text. So let's go for something short like this. And oh no, we don't want to hard code it now, do we? And we just want to go here and update. Okay, cool, that's pumping out. Let's have a quick look at the front end. Sorry about that. So if we give it a good refresh, see what happens. As you can see, uh, already we've got a little bit of image coming through and we've definitely got our text coming through, so that's good. Now, it's just a case of styling. So we've got our image in here and we've got our text, so that's all good. Um, and now on the front end, uh, we can see that it's not looking so wonderful at all. So, like I say, CSS to fix this. Okay, so going into the CSS, I've actually got some CSS in our main CSS style sheet file for the 2016. Again, please just use a child theme and use a custom CSS file. Do not use the main CSS file because that will be wiped. As soon as you update so I've commented it out and we can see that it looks pretty uh, ugly as is it's uh, really small and you can't really see that sunset and you can't really enjoy that text so let's go ahead and uncomment the CSS that I've got here so I'm going to save that and at the moment we've got our image which is corresponding to this div style here so background image and the field image and that's that and basically what I'm saying is is the background repeat is no repeat background size is cover so we want to cover and the min height is 509 and it's a random number um, you need to play with your own CSS and get it right and for your projects or your themes or what have you that was for the project that I showed you uh, then you've got caption hero so you position it as absolute I forgot to mention the position of relative for the image top 45 so it goes in the center left zero width 100% and then the h3 which is here you want to well I, I have used a white color 36 pixels and text line in the center so if we go back into here and we do a refresh you'll see it looks a lot better. Now, from your comment, I think you wanted the whole thing to be obviously covering. So what you'd need to do is within your theme, you'd need to come out of the containing wrapper div, which would be, uh, I'm not too sure, I've not used this one before too much, so possibly this div here, you'd need to come out. So say if you're using bootstrap, and if I could spell bootstrap 4 if you're using bootstrap you would use your container and let's have a look at the documentation quickly Cinder is grid so how it would work is you'd have your outer wrapper or your outer container that wraps absolutely everything up so for example in our website I think this is our container because as you can see there's lines here that's our container if you wanted to be full width you'd have to make your code or get your code to be outside 
of that container so for example let's go back into the code quickly let's go into here and say if this was our code here let's just bung that in there just for fun and what we'll do is so this is our container pretend ignore everything else apart from this and here this is our container for our whole website we want our hero image so say you want it just before your container you do that so depending on your theme you need to be outside of your container to have the hero image be stretched all across the page and again you could use the same sort of CSS there to position any text or any sort of anything really that you wanted in there so Stefan I hope this answers your question um, if it doesn't and I've done a bad job I apologize but I think I guess this is really what you want if you didn't want that text you just simply you could just simply get rid of all of that if statement there and you would have just your image I'm not sure it's saying why it's saying one of oh yeah of course it's this right almost there almost there I'll get there yeah there we go so uh, again Stefan I hope this answers your question uh, thank you for watching my videos I'm glad that you've enjoyed them if you or any of my viewers have any other ideas or they have problems or you have problems with any of the videos or any development issues that you're experiencing with WordPress with any other plugins or HTML CSS bit of jQuery what have you just leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out by making a custom video for you and uh, I just hope you all have enjoyed it uh, I'm on Twitter as Benjamin the dev uh, come and say hi and if you like this video please like and please subscribe and thanks for watching cheers